Congratulations to our Park Vista Community High School rising sophomore class of 2026. You are wrapping up your first year of high school. Whether your plan is to attend a four-year university, a community or state college, a career or vocational school, go into the military, or enter the workforce, we encourage you to use the coming year to make your plan a reality. Once you watch this presentation, your social studies teacher will bring your class to the school counseling office for an individual meeting with your counselor. It's important that you review this presentation thoroughly so that you can be ready with your questions for your counselor when you meet with them. We'll give you lots of information to be sure that you can make the most of your sophomore year as you prepare for graduation and beyond. Before meeting with your counselor, you will receive a copy of the courses you requested on your course selection sheet with an explanation on the reverse side. Please sign this, have your parents sign this, and bring it to your meeting. If you have any adjustments that need to be made to your course requests for next year, follow the outlined procedure. No changes can be made without a parent signature. You can also view your course requests through your Student SIS Gateway Portal. To view the course request screen, log into your SIS portal and select the Class Requests option. When the request screen opens, click on the Switch to 2023-2024 button. You're now on your Class Request screen for next school year. The screen should have red accents. This is only a listing of your requested courses and not the order they will appear in on your schedule on the first day of school in August. Something to think about as you review your course requests is the strength of your sophomore schedule. Approximately 93% of Park Vista students pursue a post-secondary education, whether at a four-year, two-year, or vocational school. With this in mind, we encourage you to make the most of each year so that you are prepared to be successful at the next level. Colleges and universities recommend a minimum of at least five academic courses in your schedule. Academic areas are language arts, math, science, social studies, foreign language, and all AP and ACE courses. It's important to be sure that you're on track to graduate. At this point, you should have the following. Approximately three credits with seven total at the end of the year. At least a 2.0 GPA. One online course completed and 20 hours of community service documented in SIS. If you are missing any of these, you are not considered to be on track for graduation. You should make a plan when you meet with your school counselor. We have prepared a packet of information that accompanies this presentation. This packet can be found on our school's website under students and parents and then school counseling department you will see a link to the class of 2026. You will also receive a printed packet when you meet with your counselor. We begin with the sophomore checklist. This list contains items that are important to check off as the year progresses and provides links for items you may need. One important link is for the college admission handbook. This contains every step necessary for the application process start to finish and can be found under the school counseling tab on our website. For graduation, you must document at least 20 hours of community service and complete one online course. If you've not completed these, we recommend that you do so as soon as possible. Summer is a great time to get this done. If you still need to complete an online course, you can find the directions for registering for a course in the packet. We encourage all students to have their online course completed by the beginning of their junior year at the latest. Online courses can be found at www.flvs.net. You can also find a copy of the community service log in your packet. This log can also be found on our website. Once you've completed your service and filled out the log, you will upload it through the Google form found on the community service section of the school counseling website. The next page in your packet is our SIS helpful hints. Students have access to almost all of the same information that teachers and counselors do. This page will help you locate things such as your GPA, community service hours, class rank, and so on. Next, you will find the 2023 State University System Matrix. 
It has lots of really important information about all of the public universities in our state. For example, you can find some general information about their application process. Even more importantly for rising sophomores, you'll find a profile of their current freshman class. When you look at the middle 50% of admitted students, you can see the average GPA, SAT scores, and ACT scores for the freshmen currently attending these schools. This is a great tool to help you as you set goals and think about your post-secondary plans. Are you interested in joining a branch of the military? If so, you'll want to speak to a military recruiter. You can find the contact information for the recruiters in our area in your packet. Also, the military sponsors the ASVAP, or Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, each year at PVCHS for free. If you have ever heard someone say that they took a test in high school that suggested they become a doctor, lawyer, mechanic, etc., they probably took the ASVAB. We'll be offering the ASVAB in November. Be on the lookout for sign-up information in the fall. Palm Beach State College is another excellent post-secondary option. They have dozens of degrees, certificate programs, and diploma options. You can find a complete list in your packet and more details at palmbeachstate.edu. If you aren't sure about a career path after graduation, there are lots of career counseling resources available. These websites have interest surveys and other assessments that can help you narrow down a potential field. They will then link you to more information about the possible jobs available in those fields. Here are a couple of key pieces of advice for rising sophomores. Earn the best grades that you can. GPA matters. The further you get in high school, the more difficult it is to raise your GPA. Take the most rigorous courses you're qualified to take and avoid having periods off. The more you learn in high school, the more prepared you are for your future plans. Take the PSAT in October seriously. This test can help you meet high school graduation testing requirements as well as prepare you for college. You can do SAT and ACT prep on Khan Academy once you receive your PSAT results. Do something enriching this summer that will add to your resume. Some ideas are a summer college program, a part-time job, travel, or volunteer work. Research colleges and career schools this summer. Researching early will help you feel more prepared when it's time to start applying. And attend school. As simple as this sounds, its impact is huge. How many days absent is too many? Research has shown that one of the most important keys to academic success is regular and consistent school attendance. Chronic absenteeism is generally considered to be 10% of the school year. With 180 days in the year, this equates to 18 absences over 10 months or less than two absences a month. In schools with block scheduling like Park Vista, this means missing nine classes or one class a month. Study after study has confirmed that attendance is directly correlated with high school graduation rates. The chart on the left shows the results of a study of students from the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District. Researchers found that as students' attendance rates decreased, so did their graduation rates. For example, students with an 80% attendance rate, which is the equivalent of missing two block days a month, had a graduation rate of only 72%. This means that one in four students did not graduate. Something that has also been confirmed by research is that a high school diploma equates to hundreds of thousands of dollars over your lifetime. The chart on the right is based on data from the U.S. Census Bureau. High school graduates earn, on average, $17,885 more per year than workers without a high school diploma. Over a 30-year career, this is the equivalent of $536,550. Some studies show this number to be as high as $1 million. Of course, salaries continue to increase with post-secondary education as well. Attending school regularly directly impacts your future earnings. Here are some suggestions to improve your attendance. You will find a complete list in your packet. 
Make school a priority. As important as things like a job or spending time with friends are, graduation from high school is the most important thing you are working on right now. Get your homework and other responsibilities done at a reasonable time so that you're able to get a good night's sleep. Set up a daily routine to be sure that you're ready for school each day. For example, set an alarm, pick out your clothes, and pack your backpack the night before. Have a backup plan to get to school. What will you do if you miss your bus? If you usually ride with a friend, what will you do if that friend can't pick you up? Don't stay home unless you're truly sick. Sometimes we wake up with a light headache or something similar, but once we get moving, we feel much better. Whenever possible, don't schedule appointments during the day. Try to get to the doctor or dentist after school. And finally, if there's something happening that's keeping you from getting to school every day, for example, problems with your bus, reach out to your administrator or school counselor so that we can help you work through it. Are you planning to earn an ACE diploma? If so, you need to be sure that you have all of the classes required. In your packet, you will receive a copy of our ACE Diploma Requirements Check Sheet to track your progress. You can also find the AP and ACE Equivalency Charts in your packet. These charts show you potential college credit that you can earn by taking AP and ACE courses on our campus. As you're making your plans for the classes you will take throughout high school, these charts can be very helpful. Other resources that we encourage you to take advantage of are our school counseling website and weekly update. We have a very detailed section of the Park Vista website. We upload virtually everything that we do in our department. If you ever have a question, it's probably answered on our website. In addition, every Friday we email out our weekly update with timely announcements, reminders, and resources. This newsletter is sent to all students and parents, so be sure to look for it each Friday. Rising sophomores will be visiting their school counselors with their social studies teachers. Remember, you should bring your signed course request form with you to your counselor. This is the bright orange paper that you received in your fifth period class. If you have any questions, you can contact your counselor by email. We're also available in our offices before school, during lunch, or after school every day. We look forward to working with you to make your sophomore year the best that it can be.